Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Leo. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So um, let's see. how. Um, what's the situation that Leo is dealing with? What is the situation that Leo is dealing with? Oh, marriage. Okay, so you could be married. If you're not married, you're in a commitment or you want to be married. You could be in a long-term relationship here. Um, let's see, what is clarifying marriage? Uh, someone could be married. Someone you're dealing with could be married. Let's clarify marriage here. Let's clarify marriage. Uh, unexpected uh, income. So we, we know that we're not talking about money. And we could be. We could relate it there. But um, when we see this card and we're not talking about money, it could be an unexpected message. So an unexpected message or something unexpected can be could happen in your marriage. Um, it could be from a single person or someone outside of the connection. It could be formal in terms of business or it could be personal. It could be relationship based. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's somebody concerned here about what's going on with you. There's somebody deeply uh, pessimistic, um, maybe even depressed in terms of this connection. Somebody also could have cut it off or said they want to go solo or they're acting solo in terms of the marriage or the connection. Somebody somebody feels like their money is their money in the connection, also in the marriage. There's very little balance in harmony here. It's just more so two people uh, almost acting as roommates. If you are married, it's not going well. There's a, someone outside of a marriage here and someone is saying, you know, I just want to maintain my autonomy. I want to maintain my life, who I am. I don't want to be a part of your marriage or your third party. The man here in this connection could be deeply concerned about um, maybe being cut off. Let's see what's going on. Um, what deck are we going to pull from? Let's see. Okay, let's go here. See what's going on for my Leo. Somebody is saying, look, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, you give me money or you give me resources, but I need more than that. I want a partner. I want a man. I want a companion. Um, I don't need this, okay? I don't need the stress and the drama on my head. Leave me alone. All right, let's see. What is Leo dealing with? What is it? Okay, there we are. Dark male. So someone could be of a darker hue in terms of their skin color. They could have nice hair, nice body. Uh, they think that they are God's gift. Okay. Um, Leo, you could be getting a lot of attention right now. It is your birthday season. Happy birthday. Um, Someone could be married or in some long-term commitment, but it's like two people acting independently. It really isn't like a, a, a traditional structured marriage here. Um, also, there's one person taking care of the other. Union, union coming up again. Heavy marriage. Something about men, a man and a marriage. Um, union here. Closeness. Uh again long-term relationship marriage coming up true love okay and dating yeah I already knew this what this was so it's like um, there's somebody there's some man who is engaging in a relationship outside of his marriage outside of his union he feels like this is a true love okay uh, it also could be an old love he's dating this person of course he doesn't have obligation to this person he's not married to this person he is dating this person courting this person giving them money maybe spending time with them spending money on them maybe even travel or travel to this person you and this person could live you know far from each other um 
this person could do some type of travel for work too when this person travels they go and see someone else let's see what's going on in your connection leo there's an energy of somebody just being super depressed over the fact that their person is um, going to go see someone else, in love with someone else, in a marriage, but getting money too. Um, yeah, somebody feels like there's a high level of selfishness, okay? Somebody just does whatever they want to do. They don't think about the whole, about other people. It's just all about self. Um, the person on the outside of the connection could be wanting more. The marital partner is in deep despair, depression, and concern about um, her, her partner, about the marriage. Is it in jeopardy? Also, I'm hearing that somebody asked the, the, the wife asked the husband to cut this person off, you know. Um, yet someone said, I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. So selfish and just hurtful and uh, maybe even a little narcissistic. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, addicted to sex with anyone. So somebody's out here. They're doing their thing. It could just be this person is out uh, dating other people just because of sex, wanting sex with people. This is how they engage this is how they get down this is what they do um, this is a part of their uh, their mo um, this is how they express themselves what is this about what is this about All right, we've got runner. All right, someone is a runner. And um, someone wants to say, understand something. You have complete control in this situation. So we got a runner here. We got somebody running away from this connection or running away from being in connection with a particular person. Um, someone's running away from their marriage also, running away from their problems, running away from the problems in the connection, in the marriage. Um, the solution was to find someone else, not divorce, but find someone else to bring them in to, to you know, add to or to relieve stress or it looks like somebody could have a sexual addiction. Um, someone could be paying for sex. Uh, someone could be saying, look, you know, I'm working. I'm trying to get more money for us. So I don't have time. But also while they are working and traveling away from you, they are seeing someone else, they're dating someone else, they're courting someone else, they're running away from their problems, from the issues. Um, do know if you are a third party to this person, you are a stress reliever. You, your name is Advil, okay? Um, I, I don't know, you're a fever reducer. This person is hot in their house. It's, it's not good. It's not going well. And they just need something to uh, relieve the pain here. Um, and it seems as if they don't have a lot of um, integrity in terms of dealing with the person on the outside. This is a, a whole mess. Um, using people to, to, to cope. To, I want to stay married. I'm unfulfilled and unhappy in my marriage. Let me bring somebody else in this. I have no intentions, no real intentions for this third party outside of taking. I'll give to if they want money or a trip or a bag or whatever. I'll give that. That's nothing. But at the same, in the same regard, I don't have any real long-term intention for this person. Um, they're very interesting. Let's see what's going on here. What's the conclusion of this relationship? Okay, a win-win. Um. Outcast is forecast. Full moon and Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. If you're not, it says that um, you're going to get what you want here. Also, it's time for you to take a stand. Okay, make the decision also. Um, it says see this other person through the eyes of love because you'll change your perspective. Okay, um, maybe you are judging them harshly. 
Um, but like I said, I just kind of went over what third party situations are, especially if somebody is married or in some long term commitment. A lot of times when they pull in a third party, it's not because they want to be out of their marriage or they, they're trying to leave, but it's they're, they're trying to relieve, you know, relieve the monotony, the boredom, the stress, you know. So don't be somebody stress reliever unless you're getting paid very well for it. No, uh, that's my philosophy. Don't take that. The cards did not say that. <laughs> anyway, um, a win-win outcome is forecast for the both of you. Um, I think you get what you want. Maybe you even leave. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, somebody gets found out here also. Um, what is you may even get an apology or, or they may treat you better or fair um, this person may even um, feel indebted to you they may even give you money or repay you in some way or in just in words you know um, emotions are running high right now with this super moon um, it just seems as if um, this person oh I just got like tightness in my chest they just can't hold back. They have to release something. They have to say something to you. Um, they have to get you back. They want you there. Um, you leaving brings a tightness in their chest. What's the conclusion of this relationship? What's the conclusion of this relationship? Um, you guys need to balance spirituality and practicality. You could be dealing with a Piscean full moon and Pisces. Okay, so it's a real romantic time, but not, but not such a realistic time so someone's being real romantic resting in fantasy but not being realistic okay so you need to come back down to earth and understand that um something is just not realized it's not real um and if you're okay with it not being real it being fantasy it being illusion it being uh, whimsical or emotional then that is okay also but it seems as if something can't be realized because the obstacle or the block here is the fact that someone is already coupled or married. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for you. Yeah, that's everything, Leo. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity. If it did, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also... Donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. If you took something from the reading, give back. All right. Click that buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.